ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय वेलकम ऑल टू टुडे रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्री चैतन्य चरितामृत मध्य लीला चैप्टर वन वर्स नंबर फोर्टी फोर वी शाल बी कमेंसिंग आर रीडिंग टुडे मुखम करोति वाचलम पंगुम लंघयते गिरिम यत कृपा तमहम वंदे श्री गुरु वीरतायणम परमानंद माधवम श्री चैतन्य ईश्वरम हरि ओम तत्स गोपाल चंपू नामे ग्रंथ महाशुर नित्य लीला स्थापना या हे ब्रज रस पार द मोस्ट फेमस एंड फॉर्मिडेबल ट्रांसेंडेंटल लिटरेचर इज द बुक नेम्ड गोपाल चंपू इन दिस बुक द इटर्नल पास्ट टाइम्स ऑफ द लॉर्ड आर एस्टैब्लिश्ड एंड द ट्रांसेंडेंटल मेलोज एंजॉयड इन वृंदावन आर कंप्लीटली डिस्क्राइब्ड परपोर्ट by his divine grace shila prabhupad shila prabhupad ki jai in his anubhashya shila bhakti siddhant saraswati thakur gives the following information about the gopal champu the gopal champu is divided into two parts the first part is called the eastern wave and the second part is called the northern wave in the first part there are 33 supplications and in the second part 37 supplications In the first part, completed in fifteen ten Shakabd, A.D. fifteen eighty eight, the following subject matters are discussed: Vrindavan and Goloka, the killing of the Putana demon, the Gopi, and the Gopis returning home under the instructions of Mother Yashoda, the bathing of Lord Krishna and Balram, Snigdha, Kantha, and Madhu Kantha. third one is the dream of mother yashoda fourth is the janmashtami ceremony fifth is meeting between nand maharaj and vasudev and the killing of the putra demon sixth is the past times of awakening from bed the deliverance of demon shakta and the name giving ceremony seventh is the killing of the trinavrit demon lord krishna's eating dirt lord krishna's childhood naughtiness and lord krishna as a thief Number eight is the churning of the yogurt. Krishna's drinking from the breast of Mother Yashoda. The breaking of the yogurt pot. Krishna bound with ropes. The deliverance of the two brothers, Yamala Arjun, and the lamentation of Mother Yashoda. Ninth is entering Sri Vindavan. Tenth is the killing of Vatasur, Bakasur, and Vyomasur. I don't know if it should be. Vritasur or is it Vatasur? But I will read as it's written here. Eleventh is the killing of Akasur and the bewilderment of Lord Brahma. Twelfth is the tending of the cows in the forest. Thirteenth is taking care of the cows and chastising the Kaliya serpent. Fourteenth is the killing of Gardabha Sura, the ass demon, and the praise of Krishna. Fifteenth is the previous attraction of the Gopi. Sixteenth, the killing of Pralambasur and the eating of the forest fire. Seventeenth, the Gopi's attempt to approach Krishna. Eighteenth, the lifting of Govardhan Hill. Nineteenth, bathing Krishna with milk. Twentieth, the return of Nanda Maharaj from the custody of Varun and the vision of Golok Vrindavan by the Gopas. Twenty-first is the performance of the rituals in Kathiyani Vrata and the worship of the goddess Durga. Twenty second is the begging of food from the wives of the Brahmanas performing sacrifices. Twenty third, the meeting of Krishna and the Gopis. Twenty fourth, Krishna is enjoying the company of the Gopis and the disappearance of Radha and Krishna from the scene and the search for them by the Gopis. Twenty fifth, the reappearance of Krishna. Twenty sixth, the determination of the Gopis. <coughs> Excuse me. Twenty <coughs> seventh, pastimes in the waters of the Yamuna. Twenty eighth, the deliverance of Nanda Maharaj from the clutches of the serpent. Twenty ninth, various pastimes in solitary places. Thirtieth, the killing of Shankarachur and the Hori. Thirty first, the killing of Arista Sur. Thirty second, the killing of the Keshi demon. And thirty third is the appearance of Sri Nanda Muni. Sorry, the Narad Muni, and a description of the year in which the book was completed. in the second part known as uttara champu the following subject matters were discussed first the attraction for brajabhumi second the cruel activities of akrur 
Third, Krishna's departure from Mathura. Fourth, the description of the city of Mathura. Fifth, the killing of Kamsa. Sixth, Nanda Maharaj's separation from Krishna and Balram. Seventh, Nanda Maharaj's entrance into Vrindavan without Krishna and Balram. Eighth, the studies of Krishna and Balram. Ninth, how the Sad, the teacher of Krishna and Balram, was returned. Tenth, Uddhav's visit to Vrindavan. Eleventh, Radharani talking with the messenger Bumblebee. Twelfth, the return of Uddhav from Vrindavan. Thirteenth, the binding of Jarasandh. Fourteenth, the killing of the Yavan Jarasandh. Fifteenth, the marriage of Balram. Sixteenth, the marriage of Rukmini. Seventeenth is the seven marriages. Eighteenth is the killing of Narkasur, the taking of Parijat flower from the heaven and Krishna's marriage to the 16,000 princesses. Nineteenth is the victory over Banasur. Twentieth, a description of Balram's return to Raja. Twenty-first, the killing of Pondrak, the imitation Vishnu. Twenty-second, the killing of Vivida and thoughts of Hastinapur. Twenty-third, departure for Kurukshetra. Twenty-fourth, how the residents of Vrindavan Dwarka met at Kurukshetra. Twenty-fifth is Krishna's consultation with Uddhav. Twenty-sixth, the deliverance of the king. Twenty-seventh, the performance of Rajsuya sacrifice. Twenty-eighth, the killing of Shalva. 29th is Krishna's considering returning to Vrindavan. 30th, Krishna's revisiting Vrindavan. 31st, the adjustment of obstructions by Srimati Radharani and others. 32nd, everything completed. 33rd, the residence of Radha and Madhav. 34th, decorating, decorating Srimati Radharani and Krishna. 35th, the marriage ceremony of Srimati Radharani and Krishna. 36th, the meeting of Srimati Radharani and Krishna. And finally, the 37th is entering the Golok. So, this verse describes elaborately about Gopal Champu, what is in there. And uh, this has been given by Bhaktisiddhanta Thakur in his Anubhashya. And in the earlier verses yesterday, we read how the six Goswamis, the different kind of literatures they left for us and Prabhupada has elaborately described them for us. And without even delving into those literatures, you can get an idea what they are all about. And hopefully after reading this, our curiosity makes us pick up those literatures in the future or even to listen to some lectures about those uh, uh, literatures composed by the six Goswamis because the lectures they give us the concise knowledge which even we can't understand if we are reading them by ourselves. Now going on to the verse number 45 E Mata Nana Nana Grantha Kariya Prakash Goshti Sahite Kaila Vrinda Vanit Vas The Srila Rupa Goswami and their nephew Shilajiv Goswami, as well as practically all of their family members, lived in Vrindavan and published important books on devotional service. So this verse is telling us that how Rupa Goswami, his nephew Shila Goswami, and practically all their family, they were living together in Vrindavan. And we can understand that they were, they are actually the eternal associates of Krishna. In Krishnila. How else somebody can turn their lives and uh, do such big services for the Supreme Personality of Godhead? Verse number 46 Prathama Vatsare Advaitadi Bhakta Gana Prabhure Dekhite Kaila Niladri Gamana. The first year after Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu accepted the renounced order of life. All the devotees headed by Sri Advaita Prabhu went to see the Lord at Chikannath Puri. Verse 47 Rathyatra Dekhi Tahan Rahila Chari Masa Prabhu Sange Nritya Gita Parama Ullas. Ullas is pleasure as we know in Hindi as well and in Sanskrit and uh, obviously in Bengali as well. After attending the Rathyatra ceremony at Chikannath Puri, all the devotees remained there for four months. Greatly enjoying the company of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu by performing Kirtan, which is chanting and dancing. 
verse 48. विदाय समय प्रभु कहिला सबारे प्रत्याप्त आशीबे सबे गुंडीचा देखी बारे। At the time of departure, the Lord requested all the devotees, please come here every year to see the Rath Yatra festival of Lord Jagannath's journey to the Gundicha temple. Purport, there is a temple named Gundicha at Sundarachal. Lord Jagannath, Baldev and Subhadra are pushed in their three cars from the temple in Puri to the Gundicha temple in Sundarachal. In Orissa, the Rath Yatra festival is known as Jagannath's journey to Gundicha. Whereas others speak of it as Rath Yatra festival, the residents of Orissa refer to it as Gundicha Yatra. So there is a very significant detail uh, that given us in this purport that uh, Rath Yatra is known as Rath Yatra elsewhere but in Orissa it is known as Gundicha Yatra. The three deities that travel from Puri to the Gundicha temple. So henceforth the name Gundicha Yatra. Verse 49 Prabhu Ajnaya Bhakta Gana Pratyabda Asiya Gundicha Dekhiya Yana Prabhure Miliya. Following the order of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, all the devotees used to visit Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu every year. They would see the Gundicha's festival at Jagannath Puri and then return home after. Four months. Verse 50. Vimshati Vatsar Aiche Kaila Gata Gati Anione Dunhar Dunha Vina Nahi Stiti for twenty consecutive years. So Vimshati is twenty. This meeting took place and the situation became so intense that the Lord and the devotees could not be happy without meeting one another. Verse 51 Shesha Ara Yei Rahe Dwadasha Vatsara Krishnera Viraha Leela Prabhura Antara Dwadash Vatsara is 12 years. Dwadash is 12 and Vatsara is year in Bengali. The last 12 years were simply devoted to relishing the pastimes of Krishna in separation within, within the heart of the Lord. Purport, Shri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu enjoyed the position of the gopis in separation from Krishna. When Krishna left the gopis and went to Mathura, the gopis cried for him the rest of their lives, feeling intense separation from him. The ex this ecstatic feeling of separation was a specifically advocated by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu through his actual demonstrations. Verse 52 Nirantar Ratri Dina Viraha Unmade Hase Kande Nache Gai Parama Vishade Kande is cries in Bengali and Vishad is moroseness as in other languages as well. Unmad is madness. In the attitude of separation, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared mad both day and night. Sometimes he laughed and sometimes he cried. Sometimes he danced and sometimes he chanted in great sorrow. Verse 53 Ye kale karena jagannath darshana mane bhave kurukshetra panachi milana. Parachi means I have gotten. At those times, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would visit Lord Jagannath, then his feelings exactly corresponded to three those of the gopis when they saw Krishna at Kurukshetra after long separation. Krishna had come to Kurukshetra with the with his brother and sister to visit Purport. When Krishna was performing Yajna, which is sacrifice at Kurukshetra, he invited all the inhabitants of Vrindavan to come and see him. Lord Chaitanya's heart was always filled with separation from Krishna, but as soon as he had the opportunity to visit the Jagannath temple, he became fully absorbed in the thoughts of the gopis who came to see Krishna at Kurukshetra. Verse number 54 Ratha Yatraya 
आगे यबे करेना नर्तन तहान ए पद मात्र करे गायना वेन चैतन्य महाप्रभु यूज टू डांस बिफोर द काप ड्यूरिंग द फेस्टिवल ही ऑलवेज सैंग द फॉलोइंग टू लाइन्स जुरी इज बर्निंग गेनु आई हैव बिकम I have gotten that Lord of my life, for whom I was burning in the fire of lusty desires. Purport in Shrimad Bhagavatam, ten point two point one five. It is stated, Kaman krodham bhayam sneham, ekyam sorid soridam evacha nityam harau vidhato yanti tan mayatam ki te. The word karma means lust, lusty desires, bhaya means fear, and krodha means anger. If one somehow or other approaches Krishna, his life becomes successful. The gopis approached Krishna with lusty desire. Krishna was always was a very beautiful boy, and they wanted to meet and enjoy his company. But this lusty desire is different from that of the material world. It appears like mundane lust, but in actuality, it is the highest form of attraction to Krishna. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was a sannyasi. He left home and everything else. He could certainly not be induced by any mundane lusty desires. So, when he used the word "madan dhane" in the fire of lusty desire, he meant that out of pure love for Krishna, he was burning in the fire of separation from Krishna. Whenever he met Jagannath, either in the temple. Or during the Rath Yatra, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to think, "Now I have gotten the Lord of my life and soul." Verse fifty-six: "Ei duya gane nachena dvitiya prahara Krishna lana Krishna lena vraje yai e bhag antara." Lord Ch- Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to sing this song Saita Parana Natha especially during the latter part of the day and he would think let me take Krishna and go back to Vrindavan this ecstasy was always filling his heart purport being always absorbed in the ecstasy of Shrimati Radharani Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu felt the same separation from Krishna that Shrimati Radharani felt when Krishna left Vrindavan and went to Mathura This ecstatic feeling is very helpful in attaining love of God in separation. Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has taught everyone that one should not be overly anxious to see the Lord, but should rather feel separation from Him in ecstasy. It is actually better to feel separation from Him than to desire to see Him face to face. When the gopis of Vrindavan, the residents of Gokul, met Krishna and Kurukshetra during the solar eclipse, they wanted to take Krishna back to Vrindavan. Shri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also felt the same ecstasy as soon as he saw Jagannath in the temple or on the Rath Yatra cart car sorry the gopis of Vrindavan did not like the opulence of Dwarka they wanted to take Krishna to the village of Vrindavan and enjoy his company in the groves this desire was also felt by Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and he danced in ecstasy before the Rath Yatra festival when Lord Jagannath went to Kundicha Verse 57. A bhave nutte madhe pade eka shloka, sai shloke ra arth ke ha nahi mujhe loka. In that ecstasy, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu recited a verse when dancing in front of Lord Jagannath. Almost no one could understand the meaning of that verse. Verse 58. Yeh Kumar harhasa eva hi varasta eva chaitra shapas. ते चौन मिलिता मालती सुरभय प्रौढ़ है प्रौढ़ा तंदा कदम बा नीला सा चैवाश्मी तथा त्र सुरत व्यापर लीला विधौ रेवा रोदसी वेतासी तरुतले चेत समुत्कंठे
Translation goes like this. That very personality who stole away my heart during my youth is now again my master. These are some moonlit nights of the month of Chaitra. The same fragrance of Malati flower is here and the same sweet breezes are blowing from the Kadamba forest. In our intimate relationship, I am also the same lover, yet still my mind is not happy here. I am eager to back, to go back to that place on the bank of the river, of the Reva, under the Vetasi tree. That is my desire. So Reva is the name of a river. Uh, I think at present it flows in uh, Madhya Pradesh, something like that. So the purport goes like this. This verse appears in the Padyavali 386 in an anthology of verses compiled by Srila Rupa Goswami. So we will continue our reading next time from verse number 59. Thank you all for joining. Hare Krishna.